mentioned here. Uh, and I suggest to do it before we go to the last point, because the, uh, that will take a while, probably. So I guess we can start. Actually, I yesterday I installed the Gobi package, not Gobi Infinote. I don't know if that matters, but it worked for me. So, first topic, Python free support. Um, what can we do? What can you do? Um, I, I was just going to say that, um, yeah, it's, it, if Upstream supports it, and uh, it, it's really usually very easy, especially with PyBuild these days, to just add the Python 3 support. And actually, it's a great opportunity to clean up the packaging of the, of the package anyway, because can, I can usually remove 20 lines of rules. And you'll get uh, test uh, suite yeah, run test, by default yep, as well. Yep, exactly. And um, uh, but the the things that you know I find are bottlenecks. They're not huge bottlenecks, but they're bottlenecks are when you have a stack of dependencies and you have to you know you have to get this one not only ported to Python three, but you got to get it through new before you can then you know work your way down the stack and. That that's a little bit of it's a little bit of a bottleneck, especially for certain package packages that all work together. Um, and I don't know that that's that's anything that we can do except maybe volunteer to also. Yeah, but the new queue is not that uh, a problem right now. We have one of our team team I members <laughs> is in the <laughs> FTP master team, so we probably can trick him into processing. I, I, I won't actually say that he's volunteered to uh, be pinged when we have that kind of situation. So I think what we need is an overview of which packages have upstream Python 3 support, but no Python 3 uh, binary. And do we have that? Ubuntu had a big spreadsheet of that. Does that still exist somewhere? Well, um, so the, the spreadsheet does exist, but it's kind of limited in the sense of um, it was really focused on trying to get rid of uh, Python 3 from the default images from yeah. server and then desktop and then the, uh, actually mobile was first and then uh, server and then desktop because they were just more tractable. So there's not really an overall one. And the other problem with that is that PyPy, uh, the, uh, a cheese shop is not always up to date. All the metadata is not always up to date. So when somebody releases a new version of the package that has Python 3 support, isn't, you can't always tell just by going to the cheese shop and, and looking at the metadata. So I, I, I don't know what we can do other than try to be as opportunistic as possible. Um, are there any um, Python free packages uh, in Ubuntu that are not yet in Debian? There's a few. Um, there's some. Uh, there are some obscure Zope packages which are not. I I can't imagine that actually people want to use them, but they're used for like Launchpad or something crazy like that. So I had to port a handful of them uh, that were only in Ubuntu, but almost everything is. And I and I'm really trying to be very careful to. 
make sure that everything is backported into Debian, you know, done in Debian first, and then we can sync, sync it back up into Ubuntu. So. But uh, you mentioned PyPy, and we could fairly easily write a script that goes through all the Python packages in the archive, looks at PyPy, and sees if they claim Python 3 support. That's, that would probably give us an overview of, pack, of really low-hanging fruit to work on. Um, as a package maintainer, you're probably all going to shout at me now, but I think this is probably a real thing most package maintainers feel. If I maintain a silly little library that only I'm using and I'm not using from Python 3, I don't add a Python 3. I often don't add a Python 3 package because it's pain. It's going to have to go through new. It's going to. Let's. It's going to. Do experience that's going two or three days to go through new. Sure. No. <laughs> I do it, but it's a whole lot of extra work for something I know someone, no one's going to use. Can we start with uh, the PMT packages? They're all in our rep repo, and yeah, we, we, we can work without any problems. We, sh we without should just do them all, yes. So can somebody write a script that checks which packages actually can be ported to Python 3 because upstream supports it, and do any... Can we, can One we can commit to that. I was just uh, saying, whoever whoever's editing Gavi, can you just add some action items? And um, yeah. I, I certainly would be willing to help with that. I have a question, uh, which is not about Python three support. Uh, Yesterday, I had a Lintian warning on a package of mine that said, don't use Py support. And so I asked around, how do you maintain Python packages this week? And they told me Python, um, DH Python 2. And now you talk about Py build. Um, uh, is there going to, is it like only one way to do it at some point? And is there a promise that I learn that and not shoot myself in the head in six months? Yeah. DH Python 2 is the one way to do it right now. All other uh, helpers were either uh, deprecated or removed from uh, archive. Python Central is already removed, and no uh, other package is depending on that. It's using all of them. All that were using Python Central were already converted to DH Python 2, and Python support is deprecated. And uh, actually, a lot of packages were already converted. And uh, we just need some time to convert the other ones. PyBuild is orthogonal to DH Python 2. Yeah. PyBuild is the, the, like a DH are, wrapper that builds for Python 2 and 3 and PyPy. So there are actually few tools, but each of them does something different. DH Python 2 is taking care of Python 2 packages. DH Python 3 is taking care of Python 3 related uh, packages. DH PyPy is taking care of uh, PyPy packages. So the, each Python, major Python version has its own tool, but they actually do the same. And uh, uh, I separated them because we separate the Python 2 and Python 3 stack anyway. So, and at the beginning, the DH Python 2 was written in the in Python 2. Right now, they all written in Python 3, but it doesn't matter much. Uh, what matters is uh, there's only one uh, helper tool which is not uh, deprecated right now for each uh, Python version. So you, it's uh, pretty safe to say that uh, DH Python 2 is the only helper that currently uh, is should be used and will be used in future. And will it be supported by Python stdeb at any time soon? It already is. Oh, so stdeb has been updated now. Yeah. It, it uses the uh, stdeb is using uh, the short Debian rules file, which uh, uses the with statement. And if you uh, add with Python two. It will actually run DH Python 2, and that's what uh, stdep generates. So you are, if you are using stdep, you are already using DH Python 2. But stdep does not work for Python 3. Uh, 
It doesn't in Debian yet, but there's new upstream release that I didn't package yet, which uh, mm, tries to generate Python free packages as well if uh, it's described described correctly in uh, in PyPI. This conversation makes me think maybe the wiki needs updating to reflect the content of that conversation. Because yeah. um, I had a colleague at work who was looking to build some Python packages and he said, well, I found all these pages telling you about three different ways to do it, so maybe we should fix the wiki so it says you, you just this is the one way to do it. Can you point us to this wiki page where, which still describes and the yeah, so old if, way? And then if you I go will to, update it because... We probably have too many wiki yeah, pages. I mean, I mean it, it, like all wikis, right, it can use some gardening. But I, was, I, I spent a, a fair bit of time going through wiki debian.org slash capital P Python and trying to make sure that, like, there's, it, it points to the library style guide, which, while there are many different ways of doing it, is, uh, I would say, a strongly opinionated page about a, one good way of doing it. That includes both Python 2 and Python 3. And then there's another page that has is a similar thing for Python applications, which has some different issues than Python libraries. Um, so if you find some pages that have other suggestions, definitely let us know because they, I, I think they should be relegated to more like interesting historical facts. <laughs> Uh, re regarding Python 3, I think what, uh, I'm not sure for you guys, but for me the biggest trouble is upstream support for on some key libraries. Uh, on some, I don't have myself the in, enough skills to do the, the work for upstream. Uh, it'd be, maybe some some guys like you have, are better than I at doing so. So uh, currently my biggest blocker uh, is Python mem cached. If that one works with Python 3, then I have a bunch of like, of other uh, dependencies that will just have Python 3 support. So I guess that there's some other maintainers that have the same concern. And would it work if we identified those libraries? W which are the libraries that are blocking for you, for example? Memcache sounds like it's probably a very easy library because the protocol is very simple. So some, if you came up with a list of b blocking packages like that, I'm sure there are people who could help. Uh, the other thing I would suggest is that there's a mailing list called, I think it's Python Porting. Uh, I th it might be on uh, python.org, but I don't remember. But um, that's probably the place to go that's sort of, you know, if you want to connect with Python developers larger than just the Debian project, it, like if you have upstreams that you really want to get ported, go there and, and that's a good place to talk with other Python developers and you might be able to you know, convince somebody to help upstream get where they need to go. But I, I, think, I think if upstream doesn't have support, you either have to go to upstream or you have to go to sort of go to the larger um, community to, to help push that along. So it's only about packaging what's in Git repo. Yeah, you could package the, the Git. It's more complicated than that. There's, there are, there's a, the webstream for version 2 doesn't have support, and then there's two or three forks for Python 3. It's complicated. Yeah. Um, my case is probably not very uh, common, but I have an upstream which only supports Python 3 in their default build. So um, I was pushing to uh, get all my reverse dependencies updated, which is not possible <laughs> because they need WX widgets, which is not ported in any way. So the question is how we um, 
a still build Python Neuro as a stopgap method to dependencies which are not yet ported, but it's a big hack and the problem is when, I, am, I, am I allowed to drop the Python 2 package or not? <laughs> When I, 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 I'm actually planning to do it uh, after this release, but if some, if some Python policy says no, don't do it, and uh, continue shipping it, I'm going for it. I would say if no one's using a library, it's safe to drop it. You can apt cache our, our depends your package and the problem is that the reverse depends are actually reverse suggests and reverse recommends. So uh, all, all of them are really suggests or reverse or? suggests oh. and reverse recommends only. So uh, the, the problem is that for for doing the Python two version, I need a good hack to build the same thing twice, and uh, I'm not sure whether I w want to support it because I, I would start anyone, anyone who is using this library for LibreOffice has to support Python three anyway because LibreOffice is only shipping the Python three version. I would start with uh, reporting bugs that uh, this package will go away soon. And that's, uh, that's what I did. Yeah. Oh, great. <laughs> Move on to the next thing. So for Python 3, just to summarize, we we need uh, a document or a list of packages that we should focus on and we'll create i will help you barry with that and uh, maybe we can uh, create as many python free packages because before releasing jesse as we can because backporting to to wheezy should not be a problem because it in case uh, package uses uh, DH Python because um, all the needed backports are already in Wheezy, so. Okay, so we will create a, a list of packages. Yeah. You can't see it. It's, it's down at the bottom. Okay, great. So we can move to the next topic. Um, if I might, well, Know, this might be a different topic, but one of the things that I want to do and I haven't had time yet is to try to actually get rid of Python 2 in the default install. And I think there's one or two blocking blocker packages. If I remember, Debian BTS, I think, needs to be ported. Oh, uh, that's related to, to SOAP, right? Yeah, yeah, exactly, the SOAP, the SOAP problem. Was this new library the fork of SOAP, I think? Yeah, I haven't had time to, to look at it. So I don't know how realistic that is for Jesse, probably not very, but maybe for plus one, you know, we can. Currently for when um, one of my packages have support for Python 2 and 3 and ships something in user bin, then I use update alternatives to provide both uh, things. Is it the view that by default I should, the view of the team that I should use Python 3 with higher priority? If I were you, I, w I would ship Python 3 only script. So just ship, if you have a script, just ship it in the Python 3 package so that uh, it will be easier for us to move to the Python 3 later. Because if, if it doesn't matter if uh, the script uses Python 2 or Python 3, just use Python 3. Don't, I, I don't think there's need to use alternatives or things like that. I would just go to yeah. Python 3. Yeah. Well, I'm walking the microphone over. I'll just say that there's only a, a, a couple of packages that really have to have two and three supports, like Nose is, is one yeah. of them, and a few things like that. If it doesn't care, just, just ship the Python 3 version. We don't need a script for that because we use minus N those. Yeah, yeah, exactly. no. I guess my question was, if anyone has come across a good way to help upgrade users in that situation, because 
right now there's packages where there's a script in you know Python foo, and if you add Python three support, you're going to have Python foo and Python three foo. And if you move the script to Python three foo, the user on upgrade isn't going to have the script anymore. Yeah, correct. So, <laughs> if, if anyone's thought about that. Yeah, I, 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 I've, I've come into that situation. So like, for example, talks is one I did recently. And there's a Python 2, there's a Python talks package and a Python 3 talks package. And then I, ha I created just a talks package and that contains the user bin thing. So I think in the case where you have something that's both an application and a library, it's in the long term it's better to split those up so that you have the Python dash one is just the Python 2 library. The Python 3 dash one is just the Python 3 library. Then you have another binary package that you have to be a little creative with the name. Maybe you can just name it after the source, source package name or whatever. But that's the thing that should include the user bin script. And then that can just be Python 3. But that will work only for new packages if somebody already <laughs> installed Python dash v. And, and FTP masters might say no because your package has one file in it. Actually, uh, I sponsored a package a few weeks ago that had exactly that problem. Uh, well, it wasn't a problem, but uh, there was only one uh, script in binary package, and FTP masters accepted that. So uh, maybe they, they, they often do, that but sometimes mind. they don't. And, and of course, it should. Of course, it should have at least two, right? Which is the man page. <laughs> If there's a good reason, for example, additional mm, dependencies in this mm, third mm, binary package, then I'm sure FTP masters will accept that. Do we actually think Python 2 is going away anytime soon? I mean, I talk to, no. I, I talk to people who write Python rather than write, maintain packages, and a lot of them are showing no signs of moving to Python 3 yet. It's not going we, are, we are just starting to support it at work. I mean, write code that might work with it. No intention of using it. It will not go away anytime soon, but uh, it doesn't stop us from moving forward to sure. Python 3. Until 2020, Python 2 is one of the best programming languages out there because they guarantee no API breaks. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'll just say... I, I, I highly encourage people to at least start writing new code that if all your dependencies are there, write it in Python 3 and you will not be sorry because it's such a better language than Python 2. There's no question about it. I can say that unequivo unequivocally. And, and in fact, every new, new stuff that I write is, is Python 3 and I don't miss... I, I feel like I'm a Neanderthal when I have to go back to writing Python 2. So um, Python 2 will never go away, probably, for a very long time, because there's just too much stuff out there. But uh, I think all new stuff should be written in Python 3. Yeah. It has really some nice, really nice features. And at some point, upstream will stop, will only have security updates for Python 2. Those will probably go on for a very long time. But at some point, you know, it's just, it's just numbers, right? There's going to be fewer and fewer upstream Python 2 developers who even care about it. So, you know, I think, I think if you can't do it yet, plan for it and start laying the groundwork because at some point you're going to want to be in Python 3. So the next item, which is? Python support. Python support, yeah. So can we do more in order to remove Python support even before releasing Jesse? Or, or, I mean, the Python support package itself will have to stay in Jesse because uh, to make the upgrades easier, but can we limit um, amount of packages that depend on Python support? Can we, is it worth our time to do we have a Lintian check for this? Yes, we have. 
I is think it, uh, I, at least I I think I mm, created a patch for Intel and sent that, but I'm not sure if because it's that's applied. definitely the first step. I mean, Rico say he he did it. If if not, then DHPy support uh, prints a warning every time it's invoked. Yeah, but I did hit a check saying your Python installation system is obsolete. Use another one without having this one. <laughs> 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 but I may be wrong. <laughs> I think in the warning uh, which DHPy support invokes, there's a link to the wiki page with all the uh, bullet points that uh, are needed in order to convert to DH Python 2. Okay. If Lintian tag doesn't so contain there is a it, we can tag. And I think 150 packages have it right now. How many? Down from 250 in September. In, uh, in in Debian Python module Steam or oh no uh, in the whole archive in the whole archive. So, what can we do to encourage people to convert to DH Python too? Before Jesse, <laughs> no, we cannot do that because um, it needs to be in Jesse in order to yeah. do the upgrades uh, smooth. It actually, the package with the uh, Python support package provides some scripts that are used in uh, in maintainer scripts of older packages. So it has to uh, has to stay in Jesse. But uh, we could, we could remove the DHPy the binary that gets called during the build process, though. Um, but not I yet. think release managers would not be happy. <laughs> We first probably need to get an overview of how many packages we are talking about anyway. So, 150. Uh, We're just how far do we have to get before we do a mass bug filing on these packages? 150. Um, sounds good. <laughs> <laughs> Action Barry. <laughs> so maybe we should start by migrating the DPMT packages and then see where we go from here. I would just. I, I wonder. Is it. Does it. Is it sensible, to, prevent somehow to prevent new packages from. Uh, well, I guess not, nothing new is going to use Python support, but maybe that goes to your your question whether we can actually. Hobble it. Hobble it. Yeah, exactly. Hobble mm -hmm. it so that upgrades work, but nothing new can be built with it. We we have to get it out of. We have to convert all the packages currently using it first. Would it work to just ask the FTP master to reject any new upload with Python support? So that every new upload would need to be converted in the package. There's a Lintian tag already, right? We can ask FTP masters to reject every package that uh, triggers this Lintian warning or error. error. You don't want to. You don't want to break RC bug fix uploads and that kind of thing. And you can't really do that before having fight bugs and yeah. provided patches. I mean, that's not nice. So first step will be convert all DPMT packages. That's what we have to do first. And then, yeah, fight um, patches, ask nicely. Do, do we have a list already? Then see and has a list. So if uh, anyone wants to work on that, I'm willing to sponsor any um, uploads. Uh, so just email me or ping me or on IRC. It's a good task for newcomers, maybe. At least for DPMT packages. 
nobody will complain if okay. you are afraid of that. <laughs> Have we killed everyone who will complain already? <laughs> Okay, so next topic. Stefano, what can we do to help you with Pi Pi? I haven't even started yet. Um, I, actually, I wanted to have something ready before DevConf, but I've been busy. Um, I could use extra maintainers on Pi Pi. I feel a bit like I don't want to be the only person working on it. It's a crazy, complicated package. It'd be nice if I had some other people. Um, PyPy3 is now officially releasing, so yes, we should do it. The, what are the questions? We can share um, dist packages with CPython3, I think. Um, it should work. The complication would be C extensions, but you shouldn't be using C extensions with PyPy, so maybe we can avoid that one. I have seen a lot of libraries now when they're trying to support PyPy, they're using CFFI. So if they, if they continue to do that, we should be okay. Um, we just need some dependencies that say, there's no sane way to struct the, structure dependencies in a Python 3 library package so that it'll work with C Python 3 or PyPy 3. Because um, either it should depend on one of the two or it should depend on one or the other, but then if you have the one installed, it won't work. If we'll use the uh, these packages from Python 3, then we probably have to mark such packages, I don't know, as provides PyPy something or... Yeah. Because right now, all the PyPy, all the libraries that, that support uh, PyPy have uh, uh, new binary packages. I actually kind of forced you to do that because I created uh, simple JSON, PyPy simple but, JSON. But we had to do it that way because we didn't have pep3127 in, I think, the PyShare oh, directories so in Python 2.7. You mean only for Python 3, PyPy 3? Yeah. Yeah. I'm, so in Python 2 we couldn't, in Python 3 we can. Don't know if we should, but we certainly can. That was so, the point of PyShared, so we should probably try and do it. Um, so, mm -hmm. no, I was just going to ask, what what about um, uh, like the rules file too, right? Don't we need to add, you know, with PyPy three to yep. everything? Probably. Yeah. I do have it. Um, you'll need it with Python three. Oh, you don't need a new binary package. I was going to say you also need a binary package. Of course, you don't. Um, <laughs> And the uh, PyBuild is going to have to learn to run tests for Python 3 and all that kind of thing. Python 3. Yeah, it's not a problem to create DHPy3, uh, which will yeah. create, but I'm wondering what, what it needs 